everyone. In this uh, brief video, I'm going to talk about the midterm letter assignment. Um, so here on the screen is what you will see when you click on this assignment on Canvas. So I'll go over the instructions and some other um, tips for completing your assignment. So for this assignment, you will be writing a letter to someone of your choosing, discussing what you have learned in the first half of the semester. Along with your letter, you will add a reflection page discussing who you've chosen to address the letter to and what your goal is in addressing this particular letter content to that individual. What do you hope they take away from this letter if they were ever to read it? Finally, make sure to include a self-grading paragraph at the end of your letter. In this paragraph, you state what grade do you think you have earned using the rubric below as a guide and why you think you've earned that um, grade. So these are the steps to follow to complete your assignment. Step one, choose who do you want to write the letter to and think about why you're choosing that person. Step two, choose three topics that we've discussed in class that you'd like to focus your letter on. Step three, write your letter discussing each of those topics in detail using examples from the content of the course. Step four, <clears throat> excuse me, at the end of the letter, write a self-creating paragraph. And step five, add another page reflecting on the person you choose to write the letter to. Why did you choose that person? And what do you hope they take away from this letter if they were ever to read it? Additional instructions to make sure that you follow. Um, make sure to stick to the number of pages described above in the last uh, paper assignment. Um, so a number of you went way beyond the page limit, so make sure to stick as close to that page limit as possible. The paper should be Times New Roman, 12-point font, double-spaced. Make sure to use evidence from the reading and lecture materials to support your response. When quoting or paraphrasing from one of the readings, make sure to cite your source, and the outline um, guide will include um, instructions on how to do citations. Make sure to place your name and course title single spaced in the upper right hand corner of the first page of your paper. Make sure to proof your, proofread your paper before submitting it. Um, I gave you guys a number of comments in the first paper about making sure to proofread um, <clears throat> your paper before submitting it. And make sure to note class policies regarding late assignments as discussed in the syllabus. So make sure to consult the syllabus um, if you're thinking about or need to submit your paper late. So I've created an outline here so that you can have a sense of how to organize all these different components. So this is what your paper should look like. Um, when creating this assignment. So again, here in the upper right hand corner, single spaced, you would write your name and the course number. And then this is sort of a structure of a letter. I know in today's email world and um, texting world, we don't write a lot, of, a lot of letters. So this may be unfamiliar to some of you. So I just wanted to create sort of a simple structure here so that you have an idea of how to organize a letter. So you would uh, begin with dear so-and-so, right? And so-and-so would be the name of the person you're addressing the letter to. It could be dear mom, it could be um, dear your friend's name, it could be uh, your child's name, um, or your spouse, um, anyone that you choose to write this letter to, that would be the person that you would address here. In the first paragraph of your letter, you would tell your recipient about the course you're, talking, you're taking and the three specific topics we'll be focusing on in this letter. So this would be, you know, something to the effect of, you know, this semester I've been taking um, this course, um, Introduction to Ethnic Studies, and we've been learning about all these different racial ethnic groups. And I want to share with you three things that I've learned in class so far um, that were really interesting to me or um, that were very surprising to me or, or whatever, you know, you want to say about that. But here is where you would sort of introduce what those three topics are that you're going to focus on in the rest of your letter. Then in the body of your letter, you would take each topic individually um, and talk about them in detail using examples from the reading and the course material. So for example, let's say one of the topics you want to talk about is um, how the Irish were treated when they first arrived to the United States. So that would be one of the topics you would write in the first paragraph as one of the three topics you're going to focus on. And then in the body, you would write about you know that, that experience, right? But you can't just say, 
something generic like, well, when the Irish got here in the 1800s, they were treated very badly and they were discriminated against. Um, and, and overall, it was, it was um, a bad experience. And that's it. That is not going to get you the full points, okay? You can begin with that sentence, but then in the rest of the paragraph, you need to give some examples of those things um, that come from the reading, okay? Um, and so when you're citing from the reading, um, if you're pulling something from the book, you would write um, in parentheses after that um, quote or statement, um, you would write, uh, Takaki, because that's the one reading we have, um, comma, and the page number that you got um, that information from. If you're citing from one of the videos that um, we, we watched, um, then you would write what you're pulling from the, you know, and um, one of the things we learned about was XYZ. Um, and if you're pulling it from one of the videos, you would write in parentheses after that the title of the video. Okay. Um, if you're citing from one of my lectures or the lecture video, um, then you would again write whatever you're going to say um, that you're pulling from that lecture. And then in parentheses, you would just write Garcia lecture, comma, and the date of the lecture. Okay. And you can find all of that information from the previous weeks in uh, the modules section of the Canvas uh, page. And then you would end, uh, and so you would do that for each of the three topics that you're talking about. And then you would end your letter with a concluding paragraph that summarizes what you've talked about in the letter. And then you would sign off sincerely or love you or however you want to sign off and then your name. Okay, so that's the basic structure of what the letter should look like. Then at the end of your letter, you would include your self grading paragraph, right? Where here you would say, um, you know, I believe that I, um, based on the rubric, I should uh, I have earned a, a grade of excellent or satisfactory or whatever you think, um, and this is why. Um, and then, and then you would add a last page where you would write why you chose the recipients of this particular letter. And so you would write a maximum of one page, just discussing again, why you chose that recipient and what you hope they would um, take from the letter if they were ever to read it, okay? And that's it. That's the basic structure of what the assignment should look like, okay? Now, let me go back here. Then here I've also included a rubric for the paper so you know um, what you should make sure you include um, if you want to uh, strive for the maximum amount of points. So as I, said, as I said at the beginning of the semester, papers are based on or are graded on the three tier scale of excellent, satisfactory or unsatisfactory. So an excellent paper would include all three components of the assignment the letter, the self grading paragraph, and the reflection page. Um, it discusses three topics in depth using examples from the course material. And there's evidence of having proofread your paper and has minimal grammatical or other writing errors, okay? So that would get you into the excellent range. And the satisfactory range, you include all three components of the assignment, but you discuss less than three topics or you don't really use in depth in-depth examples from the reading. Um, so it's just basically not as detailed as it should be. And there's evidence of not having proofread your paper for grammatical or other writing errors. And then unsatisfactory is you're missing some of the components um, or the letter discusses the content of the course in very broad ways without really talking about any examples from the content of the course and or there's evidence of not having proofread the paper at all really. Um, and then a fail is a zero, which means you don't turn in the letter assignment at all, okay? So those are the basics of uh, the assignment, what the expectations are. Um, and so if you have questions, um, further questions about the assignment, of course, you can come to office hours or you can email me um, your questions or you can email me um, to set up a time to meet if the office hours don't work for you. Um, if you wanna send me an email as you're starting to work on it um, and you have a draft or an outline of the letter and you wanna make sure you're on the right track, you can also email me um, a kind of rough draft. Um, but this has to be submitted you know, a few days before the assignment is due to give me time to look to look at it and give you any feedback. Okay, so if you send me a draft or questions at the last minute, 
um, chances are I'm not going to see it um, or won't have enough time to give you the kind of feedback that would be helpful for you. Um, so make sure you start thinking about this assignment early on um, so that if um, you have any questions um, or concerns or um, get blocked in any way in the, in the process of creating your assignment, you have enough time to reach out to me to get um, any feedback or assistance, okay? So I hope that was helpful. Um, hopefully that responds to most of the questions you might have about the assignment. But again, as I said, if um, any other questions you might have, of course, you're welcome to reach out to me um, via email um, or come to office hours, all right? Okay, I hope that was helpful. Take care.